Show the screen for him. Go right ahead, wheel up there, right and, there and do some work or whatever. Yeah, just hang out and be cool, Aaron. All right. Aaron, I had a question for you, Leah. What? Do we have any quiet work to do? Yeah. It would help. So you work here, too, huh? Yep. I work here, too. shoot the computer screen but they just flicker all over the place. I don't know why I do it. But they So it was like a, a like a 424 megabyte hard drive. Now I've got 20. <laughs> so we can play a game on it.
further out from the incision. Right, right. Okay, and if you have a really long incision, you do that, throw that away, and then you'd, then you'd uh, take a clean sponge and you'd do from here down. Okay, because some of you are in sync. <laughs> Good. Good. And then get a fresh sponge. Your ungloved hand in your pocket so you don't get confused. Okay. Just think it's just me here. Mm hmm. Okay. Since I don't have. From the center out. I'm pretending it's right there, okay? okay. Somebody with a real incision. Oh yeah, <laughs> I saw a couple back there with some nice stitches. He's got an incision that's not like a real.
I think I'll do is I'm going to go get the instructions, and I'm going to let you in on my name so you can just look at the thing for a minute. Is it no, that's not a pen rose, I don't think, because it's a tube. It's a tube. Yeah. It's what you connect the T to. Yeah. Which I don't know if I have to connect. Okay. Let's take your dressing. A little faster, thank you. But the best thing to do is to not touch the side. Yeah. Okay, Even though you're, you've got sterile gloves on in there. Forget the purulent mm -hmm. thick, okay, foul good. smelling. Okay. Okay, it's done. Very good. Does this patient have a knee replacement? Or yeah, he had a total knee replacement. Oh, wow. Well, he's a little yeah. pale, but. Yeah, it's kind of painful, he said. This is the wrong bracket right oh, here. Oh, yeah. I hit the wrong button. I'll <coughs> check it before I go back. So right here, my job is to see how the transmit my vast door of knowledge and brain. So it's kind of hard to get it. I have a question. Just a second. Wait until I check it, Stacy. Yeah. Go ahead and put your gloves okay. on Go. before you open the thing, because once you open the thing, you have the potential for getting body fluids on your hands when you wipe it off. When you go to the hospital, um, usually if you're working there permanently, you may mm -hmm. want to ask them to order a box of larger sized gloves. Okay. Forget the camera. <laughs> Okay. Um. No idea. What what, remember when you emptied the urinary drainage bags, what did you empty? Beaker. Same graduated beaker. Okay. okay. Get In that the, styrofoam cup over there and pretend it's a graduated beaker. In there, it hasn't been contaminated by touching something. Okay, okay so you'd empty it. Okay. Good. Just go like this. Squeeze it. Stand your hand and hold it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good. That's not that the section. No. Again. 
retrogluteal. The important anatomical landmarks for the deltoid site are the acromion process, Clearly visualize the site. Locate the acromion process. Move two to three finger breaths below the process to find the upper border of your injection site. It's K Hodson, K A Y H O D S O N. Do you need my title too? Yes, of course. <clears throat> it's Professor and Coordinator of Instructional and Computer Resources. Now, no For way. the School of Nursing. Okay. No way. All right, just talk to just talk to Cindy. Okay. Ignore me. Everybody else does. What would you like to know, Cindy? Well, tell us about the technology that students are learning here in the nursing department. Um, as you saw this morning, the lab is set up where the students can practice a variety of nursing skills that they'll do at the clinical agency, and the healthcare agencies have become so computerized that much of the equipment that the students use when they do the nursing skills is computerized. For example, um, uh, we have the senior students use a computerized monitoring device, and it's the same device that they use at the critical care units at Ball Memorial Hospital. Um, we have um, a hospital information system that's been developed here at the school and it resembles the same computerized hospital information system that they would see when they work in the clinical agencies. And um, that system allows them to communicate with other um, parts of the hospital, like the lab or the pharmacy. It also allows them to do, uh, document the assessments that they do on their patients after they care for them. And, uh, so we're using technology to resemble, and in some cases, the same technology that they're using at the healthcare agencies when they care for the patients. We're also using technology here at the school uh, for their instruction. Um, we use multimedia stations uh, that help them when they, um, it shows them a psychomotor skill and then they're able to practice in the simulation laboratory the skills that they've seen using the technology. What types of skills do they learn? Each class um, has a specific set of skills that they learn. So um, the students in the beginning courses learn um, fundamental skills, how to take a blood pressure, how to take a person's temperature, um, their skills are set up by system. So, for example, they would learn all the skills that are associated with the circulation system. And that would be taking a person's blood pressure, taking a pulse rate. Um, then their skills um, uh, at the senior level, it would be care for uh, more complicated uh, dressing changes, care of a tracheostomy. At the junior level, um, they learn how to give uh, injections or they learn how to start an IV or to monitor an intravenous solution. 
So when students graduate, then they're very prepared for um, work in the hospitals and other health care agencies. We feel like it. We feel like they're also prepared because they've practiced the skills at each level before they've uh, gone to the clinical agency to actually do those skills on a patient. Excuse me, what makes Ball State stand out in our school of nursing over other nursing schools? Um, we, um, um, <laughs> I know, it's a tough one. Um, we have really integrated technology uh, into our program quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure on that. That combined with the knowledge in the classroom prepares us, I think. Mm. It enhances. Is there one, one outstanding thing of our program that we really, really do a fine job at that maybe someone selects a specific nurse in an area of the hospital? Do we excel at any special areas? Or? Um, let's turn it off and let it go. Is there anything else that you need for your work? Yeah. Um, the, can you can you foresee uh, what would the program be like without the computers, the technology that we use? I guess technology is such a part of nursing or the healthcare um, profession today that I don't think any school can really um, function adequately without the integration of technology. Because I've, I, as I've mentioned, a lot of the equipment that the students use are either computerized or highly technical. So schools almost have to have uh, technology integration in their curriculums now to prepare the students adequately for the practice. What about the use of the uh, particular machine that we watch, the multimedia interactive? How does that help as far as retention of information? Research has shown that uh, it does increase the student's retention and it also gives them the opportunity to uh, see the skill demonstrated. The computer aspect of those programs uh, give the student a chance to problem solve in areas that um, are actually very clinically focused. Uh, for example, um, we have one program, uh, a multimedia program on labor and delivery. So the students are able actually to see the delivery of a baby and they can problem solve through what the nursing care uh, would be in that uh, situation. Very good. Anything else you'd like to add? No, unless you want me to go back and talk about that one question. Like, <laughs> would, you, would, would you like to tackle that? I mean, you know. Exactly, you know, why are Ball State graduates of the nursing program, are they so sought after? Um, we have several employing agencies, healthcare institutions around the state that do ask for our graduates because it is a well-rounded curriculum. Um, as we've just talked, there's quite an infusion of technology and integration of technology. Uh, they have uh, very good preparation for their skills as well as they have a very strong knowledge base and um, there's um, we offer some courses um, we have a critical care component in our curriculum that's a very uh, strong um, course in the curriculum anything else you'd like to add i don't think so okay great